Yes guys, what's going on? In today's video I'm going to show you how you can zoom through watches within Premiere Pro. Let's get into the video. So this effect is really simple to do um, and I'm going to show you how to do it in Premiere Pro. Um, you can do this in After Effects as well. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do it in Premiere Pro for you Premiere Pro users. So let's get into the video. So first of all, you want to obviously have a shot with a watch or maybe a car badge or kind of anything. Um, but it has to be done on the right clip, otherwise it can look quite tacky. Let's use this clip of the watch. And what we're going to do is we're going to zoom into the clip and we're going to come one frame before the end. And then we're going to right click on it and then add frame hold. What this is going to do is cut the clip and basically this clip is now a screenshot basically. So if we just drag this out, as you can see, it's just a frozen the clip. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drag it over our next clip a little bit like so. So we should have it just freeze. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to effects controls and opacity. And we can use any one of these if you want, but I think the, the pen tool is probably the best and the easiest to do. So click on that. And then if you want, you can just zoom in onto the watch and then we're going to cut around this. I really make sure you do this properly, but for this video, I'm going to try and do it quickly. So there we go, we cut around the watch. I suggest you're doing it a bit better than that, obviously. Um, but I'm just trying to do it quick for this video. And then we're going to click this button called inverted and that should basically key out um, the watch. And then a little mask feather, kind of want to click that a little bit um, and maybe a, a mask extension just a little bit as well, just to smoothen the edges out. So now we should have something like this. So we go back and then our watch is just kind of cut out and you can see our video playing in the background. So now what we're going to do on the freeze frame clip is we're going to add position and scale keyframes. So we're just going to add position and scale at the, at the start, obviously keep it at default. And then down the line, we're going to add position and scale, and then we're going to zoom. And as you can see, it's zooming in, but we need to adjust the position as well. So it goes straight. And we're going to keep doing this until we can get it right in the middle. And we can zoom it all the way in. I'm going to zoom in again. So just keep doing this until you've got it all the way out of frame. And obviously that it's going in the middle. So keep going. Make sure you make these adjustments and then a little bit more and then we should have it out of frame. So perfect. So now we should have it zooming through and then put those at the end. So now if we just play this back, we have a very quick zoom in to the watch. Now this is a very quick one. You can make this slower by just dragging the clip out and then dragging the keyframes over to the end and then this will make you zoom in a lot slower. It really depends on what look you're going for. Sometimes doing it really quick works. Sometimes, you know, slowing it down um, is better. So I think that looks okay. Um, and it zooms into the next clip really nicely. Um, but now we're just going to add um, a bit of movement um, and some flashes just to give it more of that look. So we've got our adjustment layer in. Now we're going to come over to effects and we're going to type in speed. So we just drag number three on and it should give us a little shake, which looks cool. I think we need to probably duplicate it. So press hold option and just drag it up. This should basically double the effect, which looks really cool. Now we can just add a flash if we just go to adjustment layer and then let's come over to effects and type in flash. Now, if you have your own flashes, that's fine. Um, use your own. These are just the ones that are on my website. So you can literally look, there's loads of different flashes in here you can choose. So I'm just gonna choose number two, simple flash. And then let's line these up like so. A nice cool zoom in flash effect, which looks really cool. So guys, that was how to create that zoom in effect. You can do it for watches, you know, car badges, you know, clothes, anything, pretty much do this on anything, but it works best on like watches, car badges and clothes and stuff like that. So I hope you did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, guys.